Hello, everybody. This is Corporal Kendall re returning to Dominion's Five Warriors of the Faith as Niflheim on Impossible versus 15 AI. It is the start of... This is episode eight. Okay. So let's continue the old game where I picked up, which is RK3. Okay, Play game. Okay, okay. All right, so uh, we are on winnowize mode. Let's go back to full screen, alt enter. Okay, battle in Karnag. That was the um blah battle where I left off right. That was the Okay, I did. I took this I took this one province. I getting my bearings straight here. Okay, right. I I had decided I had taken this the the province down here that has the Griffin riders. And I took this province at the end of the last episode. And I was debating whether I should do a, a rush strike against Abyssia, which seems, which seems weak right now. But I decided not to do that. Instead, I'm going to secure my, um, my base nation, my um, interior lines, economic, just, um, you know, fortress area. Oh. And let me set, make, before I forget, we're going to set the uh, clock to 30 here. So it is episode 8, and we are at late winter. Wow, late winter's year of zero. Okay, so, so let us, let's go get on with it. What do we got? We got 355 treasury. Did I build, um, this guy's building a temple on the Palisades. I got 355 left. Let's recruit a few more units. We're going to recruit, what do we want to recruit? Let's recruit, uh, let's recruit a replacement because I, I lost one of these guys recently. I'll take another scout. What does that leave me with, 115? Not a whole lot. Well, um, 115. Okay, I'm not going to take any more units. We'll leave it, we'll leave it, oh, 170. What am I thinking? Okay, a gold, 170. We're going to we'll recruit one more of these guys. Why not? We'll take one more of those giants, which are sacred, <clears throat> and we'll sit. We'll do. We'll go get on with our attacks. We're going to attack this province. It's got wolf tribe, the wolf tribe. Um, why can't we? We'll be able to reinforce with these guys. So let's set. Let's keep our guys going the way they are. Let's go to the army setup. I nothing. I don't believe anything has changed since the the time of the last battle. I still got my flankers going, attacking the rear with Bigsby. Um, Bigsby. Okay, he's attacking rear, staying behind troops. This guy. Okay, he's in the center. <clears throat> okay, so everything looks okay here. Nothing's nothing has just changed. Just want to double check that. So then, all we got is we got these guys, which are going to go. And these were my reinforcements, my other new reinforcement scouts. So we just set them up on the army. We're gonna we're gonna set them up as flankers. They are new flankers, so they're gonna support. They're gonna support these other flankers that are going in the, the in this area in the north, and they're going to be attacking rearmost enemies. Here, attack. Rear attack, rear. Okay, so these guys are set. Let's, so we're gonna set them, select them, and attack. These guys select them and attack. So we're gonna go. We're gonna go from here to here, and then here. I want to take out. I want to take that province, and then start building another fort. Clear up these areas around here. Um, probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This, this grouping of areas right here, possibly build and think about building another fort there, maybe? I don't know. Actually, I would like to build one here. Well, maybe not so much, because it is adjacent to my home province. This one isn't, though. So this place would actually be fairly nice for province. Um, it's hitting two areas that this one would be hitting, but that's okay. If I were to build one there, one, two, that way would both of two more provinces would certainly increase my income. Uh, okay, and these guys are the wolf tribe. So what are we looking at, 80? Well, we could be looking at a pretty big army, but my army has been growing now. I got a lot of archer, I mean, a lot of um, units with flanker, flanking abilities. Um, 
of course, I lost some. I lost a little bit of gold because these guys are building buildings, but I'm going to be gaining some soon. I wonder how much, how long this guy has got to build. How many more turns? It doesn't really say, does it? Oh, Palisades down there at the bottom. Giant, three turns remaining. Okay, so we got three turns remaining on my Palisades. So let's just go ahead and set it there and in turn. Well, we, we got, we were getting more income, but we're all taking a lot bigger, um, a lot bigger, I mean, upkeep, minus 142. Remember, sort of the game with minus 24? Now I'm at minus 142. Wow. Okay, so let's end turn. Ending the turn. All right. Ending the turn. Oh, come on. Should start thinking about um, reducing this this um, compiling screen now. I think it it really is starting to get a little going a little too long. Um, oh, Vance, maybe I should just time it. What was that? About thirty seconds, forty seconds. Okay, the dormant gods are awa are awakening. After all, we are we are in t turn eight, which started on turn. It's actually. The twelfth turn into the game. Make a note of that. Turn twelve. Okay, twelfth turn. So I've, I'm. It should be early spring. I've actually. So I made it to the, actually year one, which is really the second year of the game, because we went through year zero. So we're officially starting the second turn of the game. Let's check out the battles. What did I lose? Oh my god! I lost two scouts. I lost two scouts. Good god! I hope they were not. I hope they weren't my guys. I did get a new famous hero. Gee, well, let's check who got killed. I wish it would tell me. Who did I lose? Who did I lose? We'll go to the... Um, well, A is still around. C is still around. Bowser, G, Fido. I can't tell. Let's go to the, let's go to the um, statistics screen, Hall of Fame. Oh my god, I lost. I can't believe it. I did lose two of my... Oh, for God's sake. I lost B and E. Unbelievable. They killed two of my um, two of my guys. Two of my um, B and E went down. Jeez. How disappointing. That is so disappointing. How did I lose them? Let's go back to read messages. I, I need to see what happened here. View battle. <clears throat> Did I lose them? Go to um, Team Squares, Show Grid, Detailed, Exit. It's gotta be my flanking, flankers. Here's my flankers. Is this B and D? This must be B and D. Who is this? No, that is G. G. G and E. That is E. G and D. Wow. They've got it around the back, all right. That was, must not have been them. Huh. Wow. Okay, it just it went a little bit too quick for me to see, but they must have, they must have flanked. Um, they, they had to have lost them in the flanking. I don't know. I, I need to let me view this one more time. I want to set this a little bit slower. A little bit slower. I want to know where my guys are. So we got four of my guys are flanking. I got four scouts up here that are flanking. Okay, there's B. He was one of the ones that are going to die. Okay, B. I, is that a C or an E? C. E. B. C. E. G, I think that's G. Uh, B, C, E, and G. So two B, B is going to be one of the guys that died. B, C, E, and G. Did he die? Two, three, four. Well, they're firing arrows at him, that's for sure. He's getting peppered with arrows. Four arrows at him. Okay, they made contact here. Oh, one of two of them died right there. God bless. They took arrow fire. Wolf tribe with doggers repelled. Jeez. Okay, so they got me with arrows. Doggone arrows. Man. 
How do they have such good arrows? Short bro attack to damage nine. Ten, nine. Totally, these are over short bows and wear full leather armor. They don't seem as that as good as any other units. Boy, that sucked. They got got me. With arrows. Those bums. Wow. Got me with arrows. Alright, so we'll zoom it. Still killed a lot of them though. Okay, we smited them, but that that one cost me. That was costly, Q. Man, that sucked. Got G in. G into the into the um into the into the Hall of Fame, but it cost me two guys. C's got a wound. What does he got now? Never healing wound. Oh, what a crap wound. And A is A's my guy with a limp. Wow. Okay. Never healing wound. Oh, that really stinks. I hate never. Oh, look at this. They took. They. I am not going to accept this. They took my. Um. I want this spot. No way. <laughs> okay. Who were these guys? I don't know. Owned by Theridos, but that is un absolutely unacceptable. I made my entire offensive go this way just to take that spot. So I'm not going to accept that, that they took that. That's just it's not going to happen. I'm going to attack that. Um, unbelievable. Sent an entire army there, and then some jerk AI is taking an Oh, no. Oh, hell no. <laughs> no. No way. Army set up. Uh, okay. I'm going to keep everything going the same except this. The wounded guy, I'm now going to pull back with the other guys. Um, he's going to stay behind troops because he's, he's just wounded. Meanwhile, I'll let the other guys... Wounded guys, these guys that got um, afflictions aren't going to be flanking anymore. Everybody else will, though. So I lost some scouts, but they were replaced. Flanking scouts are getting replaced. Um, okay, so what do we got down here? Okay, so we got it. We got some new guys. G H I J. Okay, J. So our next scout, next scout will be K. We are on K with him. This guy I'm going to rename as. I lost Goober, so this guy's going to be Goober Jr. He is going to, he's going to um, avenge the death of his dad. <laughs> okay, so, okay, so what do we got? My maid should have made it up here. Still building the great thing. He, so Betsy is now going to construct a building. We're going to build a lab. Oh, man, are you kidding me? Four? You have 485. Pounds of gold. That doesn't it cost four? Oh, you got to be kidding me! Really, five hundred? Didn't they used to cost four hundred? Oh, labs. What am I thinking? Okay, the the temples, the temples were um four hundred. Wow. Okay. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I ramp this stuff. I am gonna. I I ramp this up to ten. Let's ramp it down a little bit to eight. So I got five hundred. And then we're going to put, um, unbelievable, 180. Did I not look at this a turn ago and it had 30? Wow, 180. <laughs> now there's 180. Unbelievable. They go from 30 to 180 in a two-turn period. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm going to build a constructive building. She's going to build a lab. Okay, so that leaves me with four treasury. Only four treasury. Jeez. Jeez, jeez, jeez. Okay. Um, so I got no more reinforcement. What is this thing up to? 650. I'm not seeing... Well, Alm down here. Wow, they got elephants too. Now look at this. Looking at war elephants. That's not a very good sign. I don't like war elephants. Not when they're against me anyway. <laughs> don't like them when they're against me. <clears throat> okay. Wow. So I lost a couple of my scouts... My good scouts going up there. I'm start getting some more gold so I can buy more units. Let's get 
like this fort built and this this fort built here. I can't believe these guys made it all the way there already and just squatted on my, my weed field. Unbelievable. I mean, really. They just want to take my, my land. See how quick these, these AIs really expand quick. I mean, they just do. I mean, even when you ramp up the, the thing to nine, nine, um, you know, on the, the Richter scale for these independents, they still advance pretty darn gone fast. Okay, so that's, that's that. Let's go to the next turn. End turn. Um, go to the next turn. So we will end turn. Going to the next turn. Should be what's fall um spring. This should be the spring turn. It was an early spring. This should be spring. Going to spring. Uh okay, I'm gonna have to start editing out this these um the length of this. Man. But that's fine, you know. I mean playing by myself it doesn't really matter, but I don't want the YouTube to get bogged down with these things, so here in this episode, I'll start um, start cutting them out now on this compiling, end of turn compiling. Okay, so what do we got? Battle in the Dawnland. What did we get? Jesus, I lost two more scouts. Oh, what am I thinking? No, <laughs> I did not lose two more scouts. I got two. Um, they killed two units. Fortress, Fortress of Theridos. Okay. Province, so they had some province defense going on. Even though it said they had no units, it didn't mean they didn't have province defense. So we got rid of their militia. They had a militia and they had some units here, 11. So they probably had a 10 or 11 going on for their province defense. We'll view it on ultra fast, just for the hell of it. Ultra fast. See what's going on. Okay, boom. Nothing, no, nothing really... Um, Major going on there. Okay. So we'll put that. Okay. So we got, we did take that, that battle, that province up here. Could probably just push them out again. This time, uh, how much do they have? They only have eight units here. Okay. So, hmm. I'm going to, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have to. Well, 565, do I have enough to actually build a um, thing? What, what is the building cost? It's going to, well, 600. Again, it will take the whole, my whole income to build one. So I don't want to, actually don't want to build one here this turn. Because um, I want to get some province defense just in case these guys counterattack. What are these guys, Bear Tribe? I'm probably gonna, just going to push them out because these areas that are adjacent, when I do build this, castle up. I want these areas that are adjacent. So I'm going to want this area for for part of my um, expansion. So I'm just going to go ahead and take them out. They're weak here. Um, I'm going to ramp this up a bit. Since it is a, a an important province, I'm putting it at 15. Um, 15, meanwhile. So what do we got here? Okay, so two of my guys, he's still building in Betsy. I'm going to go ahead. Betsy is going to search for magic. Okay, this is the first. This is how you find magic sites. The first time this is happening. This is the first search in the game. So what's happening is um, these magic sites that are in the game are rated for, at a difficulty level from 1 to 4. Okay, that's just some arbitrary difficulty level that the, that the, the, the um, game compiler has assigned to the sites. Um, so basically... So I got, so this major here is a one death, two, two and two, two, two nature and two blood. So she'll find level one death, level or level one or two nature, and one or two difficulty blood sites. That's how it works. So she can search out two for nature, two for blood, and one for death. She won't find any of the other sites. I'm not exactly sure how combo sites work. There were some sites that actually have some combos of two, like Astral and Air, for example, or something like that. Um, I don't know. I don't know exactly how, if they'll find that, or if there's a percentage chance that it, it works. But that's basically how it works. And then what happens is you'll see down here, 
and every of these sites they'll have it they'll show it down here what the search how it's been searched and it'll also show in the options when you go to the um options um oh is it the options doggone it not the options um statistics that's what i was thinking of nation overview over here see where it says searches it'll show you all your searches here all the con all the places that i've taken these are all my conquests and those are the two sites that have the copper mine on my main site and where all my units are located. <clears throat> okay, so okay, so everything's looking okay. So he's searching, or she is searching. Betsy's searching. He's still building the thing. Gumbo built a built a um, temple here not too long ago. So what does Gumbo need to do? Let's start moving Gumbo over here. Maybe I'll build another temple. I don't know. I don't want to get bogged down building so many buildings and not getting. Uh, Treasury. I want to build some units. Well, now, well, I don't. Oh, I do have a lab there now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recruit. Since I have a lab, I can recruit these things. So we can get a priestess and a sorceress. So a sorceress has got a research ability of nine, hundred and five divided by nine. So what's her bangs per buck for research? It's what about ten? One hundred divided by nine is what eleven point one. I'm paying 11 gold points per 11 gold um, for research, whereas the other guy was 15. So that's a little bit better. She's six better than the other, than using, if I was to use Gijas to research, because she's only less than half the cost. So I'm going to be recruiting one a turn. She's, and they're Astral and um, Wind. So they're two things I don't have. So I want these sources. I'm just going to keep recruiting them now. Um, I can only recruit one a turn, and they're two commander points. By the way, these Pegasus, I noticed that they're in the middle. They're actually sacred. Very cool. So that means my upkeep costs for these things is going to be, and they're sacred. They'll be getting, um, oh, for God's sake, recruitment points. Okay, I don't, I don't have enough recruiting doggone points. Forty, they cost forty-six, eight resources, but not enough recruitment points. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and put one in anyway, because um, I'm going to get that castle. That'll start getting the administration. The administration will start collecting resources. And I should get more recruiting points at the same time. <clears throat> okay, so what does that leave me with? Two ninety-five. Two ninety-five. Um, let's recruit a couple of more. I, I I lost a couple of scouts. Let's recruit a couple of scouts. What does that leave me with? 185. Uh, a couple of spearmen. I'll take a couple of good spearmen this time. The Huskarl spearmen. These guys. They're only five more. And I'll keep 115 gold because I want to have. So I want to build a fort. I want to build a building here. So I want to leave one of these guys behind. Um, well, I'm actually using, I'm moving Gumbo here, so he should be able to move up. I don't see a need to leave someone behind. When I move him up, actually, I am going to be behind him, aren't I? Because this is the guy I want to build a temple. Um, okay, let's leave. What, let us leave one of these guys behind. I'm going to leave... C behind, because he's got that, what is it, the gaping doggone wound. He's got a serious wound, so I want to see if I can keep him alive, actually, until I can get my, because if I get that re, that re, re uh, what is it, um, the thing that my pretender god has, um, the thing that's incarnate only, God, I can't think of a, of the name of the thing that re re repairs some um, afflictions is what I'm thinking of is what I want to get so I can get him to get his ref hopefully repair the affliction okay so we will do that I'm hoping you really need to start see a gold increase here now with these buildings this thing should be getting done here what is it one month good I should see it next turn so I should see a jump here I'm actually looking at a jump anywhere 720 I should see another big jump next turn. I'm hoping I'm getting close to a thousand. Is what I would like when this thing, when this this fort is built. So we'll see about that. So let us go to the next turn. We will end turn and see see what happened here. End turn. End turn. Okay, I'm definitely gonna. I am definitely going to kill this 
this um, compiling thing. Okay, so what happened to Battle of Burgermouth? Come on. Good God. Oh, the province has been conquered. My God. Jeez, they moved a lot of troops in. Look at this. I took losses. I lost another Jarl. I lost three scouts. Wow. Three javelinists, eight spearmen. I lost a giant. Jeez, I, lo I took losses. I am licking my wounds. Wow. Wow. What did I, what did I kill? What, province defense? I took seven prov I took out a pretty significant force here, though. Forty of them. What's a Hectoride? Okay, so that must be one of their serious mages. 375-point mage. Look at this. He's got awe. Sacred. That is that is a serious unit right here. Priest level two. Wow. But I paid. I boy boy did I pay. Pay for this. Heavy infantry correts. What is this? A corret. Bad foreman. What is that? Bad formarian fighter? <laughs> okay. Well, wow, I lost some I lost some good units here. I lost a Jarl. Oh my god, that must have been Fido too, wasn't it? Doggone it, I lost Fido because Fido was my was my my leader. I didn't have I should have jeez, I should have built this army up stronger. I'm it is just not strong enough really now to start taking down tough battles. Let's view this. Doggone it. That was a bad mistake on my part. Um what do we got here? Doesn't look like they have that many units though, does it? What are these things? Are those phantasmals? Spectral hoplites. Wow. Spectral hoplites. Okay, so they're ethereal. So I'm looking at a 25% chance of hitting these. Only a 25% chance of hitting them. They're cold poison resistance. Those are the, more or less the same things that those other things had. Fumerian fighters. So where's, their, where's that leader? Okay, it's got to be down here. Yeah, there they are. Wow, she's got gems. They they equipped them with some personal magic gems. You can use in this game's you can use gems um basically in three ways. You can use them as battle gems, which I believe increase your path by one. So this becomes a four, for example, um, in terms of spell that that reduces the spell fatigue in battle when you use them in battle. The other way is to use them in to cast spells, ritual spells. Ritual spells, battle spells, and um, and forging items. Those are the three three ways to use gems in this game. Wow, so now my front is crashing. My front is crashing into me, my, all my flankers. And here is Fido. God, I threw him away. Doggone it. Yeah, he wasn't. He just, well, these guys weren't strong enough to take them out. A good idea if I could have got to their leader. If I could have got to their leader. What is this unit? A water elemental. It's got a lot of, it sure does have a lot of fatigue though. Or at least it looks like it has a lot of fatigue. Or it's actually got a lot of hit points. I guess red. Chest wound <laughs> on a water elemental. Come on. Jesus taking me. She's just summoning elementals and now I'm getting swarmed. Man, doggone it. Dog freaking gone it. Okay, so they, they enveloped my flankers. That's what happened. Shoot, and there he goes. There went Fido. Wow. Well, my frontal, my main frontal force sure did take him down. Damn, took down their main line. Wow, what was that? What was that? Oh, I can't tell what that was. It went too fast for me to, to, to see what, what that was. A spell. It looks like it was um, one of the spells that I'm, my guys are casting. Okay, there we go. Somebody cast. I'm going to keep, keep that in mind the next time it happens. I'm not sure what that was. Um, Lanaria prepares to cast Holy Word. Is that Holy Word, really? Holy Word? I ain't near you, Kes, because I... Did I get that much out of Holy Word? Holy Word is that spell that attacks, um... Sacred Gus, so wow, it's attacking my, um... My doggone giants. What is it doing to my giants? 
Good God, 20 hit points. Look at that. I, they got a lot of hit points. They have, he has got some massive hit points. Wow. Uh, so that was a good spell to use against my Giants. Certainly a good spell to use. He's got 53, but he is getting chomped. 20 left. Look at that. Wow. Shredded me with the holy word. Man, what a bummer. What a freaking bummer. It's the holy word. Meanwhile, these guys aren't doing... Some of my guys are retreating. Look at that. I got retreating, guys. This was a close freaking battle. Um, certainly, and I'm just... I'm getting pummeled by this holy word spell. My flankers, but now they're retreating. Well, she is just staying in there, though. She's got to be 179 fatigue. Who is Inaria? Ionaria is casting the holy. Is that this person? Must be this. What? What is there? Where is there? Um, this is going to be Ionaria. It is Ionaria. I don't get it. How is she casting with 169 fatigue? Because she should be passed out. Um, with this amount of fatigue, once 100 is pass out, 200 is is um, damaged, and there is the bell. Is she getting extra um, reinvigor? No extra reinvig recuperation. Okay, she's got recuperation. That's what I was thinking. That was that special ability that my sacred units are going to get when I get my uh, my pretender in. Uh, Okay, recuperation. I don't know why she's getting a um, bonus here to her, or why she's able to cast despite such having such high fatigue. Perhaps somebody could comment on that if they know why I'm getting. She's getting to cast this with this much fatigue. Man, I got, I really got shredded. I mean, I took huge, huge, huge. Losses and that is not good, not good. I want to smite this this jerk. Get her, just get her. I want I want to see her gone. As much damage as she did to me, good. Okay, so that's what happened. I took I took hellacious casualties. Q, hellacious casualties. I lost my I lost Fido. My my um. Top 15, my um, warrior that uh, was in the um, top 15. I lost three scouts, probably several of my top six, so I really took a hit, a massive, massive hit. Although, of course, she they took a hit too. They lost the Hectoride. It'd be easier for them to replace their losses on, uh, certainly on, at this level of difficulty, I have no doubt they'll be able to Replace their losses much more easier than I will. Um, unexpected event. What did we get? Dominion minus two. Well, that stinks. Construction of the Great Palisades is completed. All right. So let's go to it. What do we got? 743. Really? 743. So I, didn't, I, I thought I had seven something last turn. Didn't see a whole lot of, a whole lot of income increase there, did I? Well, I guess it's because the province is just not that good of a province. Oh, it is a cave province, it's, isn't it? Income 35, okay. So that is why I didn't see. This is the province I need to plant. Income 34. 34, you don't seem like a whole lot of income here, does it? does have a lot of population, 7,000 versus the population here, 2,340. I took this province, but wow, what a price. What a price. So we're going to need, I need to ramp this up again. First, 679, 10, 12, 13, 15, 16. I'll put it at 16. Doggone, man. Man, I only got four guys there now. Army set up. Look at my, my army is shredded. Jeez, Louise, look at this. My leader is gone. Man, God bless. Did I take casualties? I did take casualties. Man, 
man. <laughs> oh, God, I don't like that. That was a bad move, taking that province. Um, what can I say? That was a <clears throat> bad move. I stepped into a trap, put him on Bowser. Um, for the time being, put him up here. Oh, God, attack front closest units. Set these guys to attack closest. Set attack closest. What does that leave me with? Leaves me with A, staying behind the troop. G, attack rear. I'm going to pull him back a little bit more. At this point, I'm not really ready to take Lear. I'm just going to... You know what? I'm just going to put him to um, stay behind troops for the time being. I don't want to lose them. I don't have enough flankers at this point. Just don't. Stay behind troops. <clears throat> okay. And guard commander. We'll leave it like that. I'm certainly not going to attack anymore right now up here. Need to get an army going now. So my guys retreated to here. <sighs> okay, so let's throw up a castle. We'll set three to construct a building. Build the Palisades. That was everything. 600 po gold points to build the Palisades. We'll move um, Control F. I will move F up to reinforce that army. Reinforce this army. Make sure F isn't... I will make sure that F... Oh, what am I thinking? The bell went off. Okay. F is staying behind the troops. So that's what he wants to do. The bell did go off. Before I forget, so let's go to Alt, Alt, um, Alt, Enter. Man, that was disappointing. Okay, I am taking losses. I took a big hit this turn. What turn did we make it to? Um, what is this, early fall? Jeez. Early, ah, uh, early fall. Okay, it is late spring. Late spring, so that's early, late. So that's, um, 14, turn 14. Completed two turns, so it's late spring. Late spring in um, year one of the Ascension Wars. So this is Corporal Kendall signing off for, um, for episode eight of Niflheim on Impossible versus 15 AIs. It is late spring. Completed two turns. We're in 12 to 14. Okay, so we will... We'll end this episode there. I want to do three more episodes today. So stay tuned. Hope everybody takes it easy. I'll see you in a little bit. Goodbye. See ya.